Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. Wow, we have been hitting this live stream almost every day. As one of my favorite things to do, we get to see each other's pulls. Uh, I get to think about cards I want to send off to PSA. And eventually, we will eventually get those cards back from PSA and get to list them on eBay. <laughs> and hopefully make a little bit of money too. So hopefully this is a hobby that makes me a little money. Uh, particularly, I think a lot of the money I think is made after PSA grades your cards. That's my suspicion. But this is an expensive hobby. So check out this table. Ooh, it's actually pretty organized. Don't you like organized things? I love organized things. Uh, this is pretty... I mean, it's, it's fairly organized even. There's just a lot on it, right? Ooh, I love seeing a nice clean table. And part of the reason it's so clean is because I, I cleared it off so that we could make that PSA submission video. <laughs> um... We'll be doing those from now on, the PSA submission videos. Another type of video I would like to get back into making is mail time videos. So I think on my card, card uh, YouTube channel, we won't just be opening all of the mail in the live stream. I think what I'll be doing is I will be recording myself opening the mail, and then I will just go on to show you guys what got pulled in the live stream anyways. By the way, I still have ants. What happened with the ants is I sprayed down where they were coming from, and now they're coming like out of the ceiling, basically. So the ants have found out that I did not spray the ceiling down and they're over by my ceiling. Really crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get over to Streamlabs and I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Yeah, you know what I enjoyed about the PSA submission is there was no like stream lag. It was in higher definition. I like that a lot. So we're gonna have more videos like that on the main channel, or not the main channel, on the actual card channel actual videos. Speaking of which, what's going on here? My TV is acting up. Give me a moment. I'm going to get that Minecraft music playing in the background like we normally have. We have some packs already to open for DL. DL has some great cards that went off to PSA. For those of you who saw the PSA submission video already, he's sending off a Secret Rare Unified Minds Mewtwo. He's sending off a Reshiram Charizard. I think he's sending off a Cynthia Caitlin and an Alternative Art Mewtwo. Damn, that is so much. Here we are, Minecraft soundtrack. Quip's already fallen asleep. She's been a busy bee. She's been working all day. Although maybe we can wake her up. <laughs> she likes the card stream a lot, actually. Yeah, She doesn't watch me play Monster Hunter as much, but she actually really enjoys the card stream. Okay. Oh, okay, so these are for DL. Give her a booster box. I'm going to open a booster box. I'm tempted to open up a bo box of Team Up for myself. But you know what? We're beginning a new round of collecting cards for PSA submission. So we're at a new cycle, and I'm probably just going to take it nice and easy. Let's see what DL gets. One. Two. And three. By the way, the, the new rule is that this live stream does end at two hours. No exceptions. So no more going into three-hour territory. At two hours, I shut the stream down. It doesn't matter what we're doing. Uh, I was reading about how unhealthy it is to sit for prolonged periods of time. We just can't have that. So from now on, you're going to have to keep an eye on the time and realize at the two-hour mark, even if you want to spend your money, we're not going to spend money. We're going to shut it down. Erica's Hospitality and Arbok. Gotta stay somewhat healthy, right? I was saying this in my main live stream that you're not even supposed to sit for longer than 30 minutes. Health officials say don't sit for longer than 30 minutes. Apparently your metabolism slows down and you get all fat and ugly. <laughs> Where are penny sleeps? Here they are. I guess I moved them off the table too. All right, so we're pulling the shiny gibble. Next card. Next pack. Three, four. Whoa. Last day jab set. Will there be carding today? <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> All right. And that's going to be the fourth pack. Good luck, DL. Hidden fates are pretty stingy. That is my official position on them. I think they're a little overpriced because people are still really struggling to try and pull that Charizard. 
Uh, he remains very elusive. He's very rare. And if you do pull him, you make probably a lot of your money back. But if you don't pull him, then you just end up spending a lot of money very easily. So right now on Hibben Fates, I, I don't know if I'll continue buying... Uh, well, I'll continue buying them for you guys. I don't know how many I want to open. They're, they're very dangerous. Uh, dangerous in the sense that you can run through your money very fast on them. So you always have to think about how you could spend your money. You could buy Hibben Fates or you could buy Cosmic Eclipse. And considering Hidden Fates is like twice the price, uh, but the Shining Charizard doesn't necessarily go for twice the price of the Secret Rare Reshiram uh, Blaziken Charizard. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. It, it used to be easy to say that Hidden Fates was a good investment because you would pull something like this guy. Let me show you. Let me show you. You would pull something like this guy, and then you would say, haha, I will sell him. And even though I didn't pull Charizard, Oh, I see. The camera's like pointed down too much. I would pull him, and even though I didn't pull Charizard, I can make my money back on the Zor arc. But right now, the Hidden Fates full arts don't appear to be going for that much. So I thought I'd update you guys on that. I'll go ahead and get this into a bag for you, DL. DL, you should already have a bag. Let's see. So we got a Merry bag over here. I'll place a Merry bag here. We got Temlet. Temlet's going on the table. Temlet's been really active. Here's David. David P. Here's SS Derp. I don't think. Here's Tony G. Cheese, how's it going, Cheese? Oh, and Ch oh right, so Cheese had this awesome Cynthia Caitlin pull, and that was the best pull of the last live stream, I think. Hold the Hidden Fates full arts for another year. Don't get rid of them just yet. That's why I was thinking too. You have the same thought as I do. I think that eventually. They will go up in price as people decide to work on a Hidden Fates collection. Uh, but currently, I think they might be underpriced. Shred the Cynthia. <laughs> One of these days, I'm just going to do it. Ah, here we are. We have DL's bag. We'll put the Gibble in the front, DL. So I think one of the things we should do is get a PSA card out and get the Lotto running. Because right now, there is no Lotto. And the Lotto is uh, real popular on this channel. There we go. Eat the cards. Look, I already got it. Get off of me, stupid ant. What else do we have here? We got Cobalion, Dark Lord Pongo. Not Cobalion. We have Gassy Who and Dark Lord Pongo. There we go. I'll place this up here for now. The Lotto. We're going to go ahead and open up a little bit of mail. And hopefully one of these, because what I did... I think it's that one back there. What I did was I bought a bunch of PSA cards all at the same time. Oh yeah, it's definitely this one. Ah, oh, but if we open it, it won't be, well, we'll see. So we got a big booster box. Now we got a big priority mailbox and it should be full of PSA cards for this. And I bought these specifically so that we would have something to do during the lottos and it wouldn't have to come out of my personal collection Man, he really went all in. Put that to the side. Wow. He, um... You're technically not supposed to do this. See how he used the priority mailbox as a sort of, like, protection? Well, they tell you you're not allowed to do that. But they have no way of knowing that he did it. <laughs> so he gets away with it. Dude, another ant. Get out of here. They're just everywhere, these damn ants right now. Oops. I'm the son and it's rude to bully my son, right? It's rude to bully my child. That's what you said. What? <laughs> I don't think the letter adds much protection. Okay, so here we go. We have a Dragonite GX, and this is one of the cards that I purchased in order to get it into the lotto. He's a really nice card. You can see he was graded recently too, and their, their grading standards get harsher and harsher is what I understand as the time went by. So this is going to be the next PSA card for the lotto. Put this to the side. 
to open up in a mail video. Nice. So we're going to do him. I can see we're out of card savers. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to go and grab some card savers. I'll be right back. Oh man, take my money, Lotto, squeeze. Okay, I am back. I got my card savers. Let me go ahead and crack these open. Take me a minute here. We used them all. box of card savers. Does PSA send your card savers back? No, they do not. The greedy bastards. They probably keep them and resell them. <laughs> if I had to guess. Yeah, they probably keep them and resell them. <laughs> hey, Mister. Code cards? How's it going? All right, we have some more card savers again. Beautiful. Uh, it feels like the camera's looking down too much. Is the camera looking down too much? That's a little bit better. We'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, that seemed about right. So the, the next PSA Lotto will be for this Dragonite. One free card grading. And we will do five Guardian Rising as well. All right. So hopefully you pull something nice here. Maybe a full art. Maybe if you're lucky, the secret rare. Maybe a decent GX. And you'll be able to use this card saver to send that card off. Or if you have a card already uh, on the table, you can do that. And then finally, you pick up this PSA 10 Dragonite secret rare. <laughs> the camera's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Where did I put my baggies? I don't even have my baggies on the table. Oh, here they are. Ah, now my table's crowded. <laughs> that didn't take long. Maybe I'll put him in the front, actually. Five logo, please. I think I want to start practicing a thing where I write the names at the bottom of this bag so that what's inside can be seen better. And that should be true for everyone's bag, I think. How's it going, Giratina Rayquaza? All right, so Dragonite GX, that's the current lotto. So JC and DL are in. Let me go ahead and grab some energy cards. I'm gonna start with DL. DL! Oops. Fold these in half. Do I have my tape on the table? Yes, I do. I'm going to get like a card folding device to do this part for me. <laughs> How's it going, Mary? Mail time. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had a faster way to seal these too, wouldn't it? Maybe like a stapler. What if we stapled these shot? You think that would work? Would it be cheaper? All right, there we are. Hmm. 
There we are. And there we are. So DL's tickets are in. Let's get JC. So how's it going, everyone? How are your days? Tell me about your latest dramas. How are your relationships going? Who's cheating on who? <laughs> JC says been working all day. That's good, man. I consider productivity to be one of the best things you can do in life is to just go out and be productive. It fixes a lot of problems when you're productive. You earn money, you accomplish things, keeps your brain active, keeps you from doing wasteful things, getting into maybe like drugs or something like that. And then you get to have fun later. So work's important. I always ask myself if I'm being productive enough. I ask myself that all the time. Still on the hunt for that elusive toilet paper and canned food. Oh, really? Are they just sold out everywhere? I bet they're just sold out everywhere. <laughs> I haven't been to Walmart in uh, like two days now. The last time I went there, it was empty. Our Walmart was so freaking empty, dude. The only thing there was like fresh food. All the other stuff was gone. I mean, you could buy like ice cream. There was ice cream. What the hell? My cat's like off making this really weird meow. Do you do you watch Terminal Mo Montage? No, I do not. Can you give me two tickets instead of refunding me the 12? I'll do you better, Cheese. I'll give you three tickets. I'll give you three. making this really awful meowing like she's dying or something but I know she's not she's just bored she gets bored and she's like who's gonna play with me <laughs> is your spirit animal a seal my spirit animal is an armadillo <laughs> my favorite animal you know I'd have to go with the praying mantis it's not even animal I'd have to say a bug the Praying Mantis, creepy ass mother fricker. Deadly and sneaky as frick. And then you gotta eat you alive. That's my spirit animal. Somebody would ask that in a very serious way. Guessy who says, that's not a mammal. Yeah, I know. But you know, it's, it's in nature. What do you want me to say, hamster or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... Giratina wants into the lotto as well. Good luck, Giratina. I'm going to put you down as Ray. Oh, I put you down as G Ray. Hey, TCC, can I trade my free grading for some PX? Hmm. G Ray. Hmm. Can I trade my free grading for some packs? What's your favorite virus? Um, coronavirus, of course. The boomer remover. Any packs are fine. Hmm. Let me think about it. I feel that the packs might be slightly more valuable than the grading. Those away. That's the only problem. Hey, mister. Mary says, my spirit animal is Donald Trump. How's it going, mister? Lotto train is very fun. Choo-choo. That's right. We're on the lotto train. And a lot is nearly done, actually, I think. Felt lighter anyways. You just missed me dying at Safajiva. Ah, darn it. Darn it, Safi, Safi Poopy. Pop that in there. And the last one. Can I trade for some tickets? Hmm. 
So this is what's left. And let me grab... Okay, we got the energy. Just download and install antivirus and you'll be safe from the corona. That's right. Mary, you may take you make Mary, you make some of the cringiest statements. What? Why did I just read that? <laughs> I just sometimes I just read comments without thinking. I'm trying to decide whether Temlet should trade the ability to grade one card in uh, for more packs or for like energy cards. And obviously I could I could set up trades that are like favorable for me. But I'm like trying to, I, I think I'm like trying to give him advice basically. Like if I were you, Temlet, I'd take the free the free grading and I would pick a, a quality card that I pulled, maybe the bead right there, send the bead off. And then when he comes back, you just sell the bead on like eBay or something, make more money that way. Whereas if you were to buy, like let's say I offered three tr three tickets in exchange for the grading. Well, what if, you, what if you lost the lotto? Well, then you would just be, you see what I'm saying? So you've got the grading now. Uh, but you would be giving it up for a chance to win the lotto. Um, I guess we can do it. I mean, it's up to you, man. Do you want to do three? I, I'll do three lotto tickets. As for the Pokemon cards, I don't think I could do the equivalent of five packs. I think I could do maybe more than three. I think I could do four. I think I could do four packs for you of something. If you want to do like four packs of... Uh, what do we have left? If you want to do like four packs of Guardians, four packs of the Sun and Moon base set, four packs of Sword and Shield. I can do four. I can't do five. I think five is too expensive. Oops, I'm sorry. I bumped into the mic. Where the... There's a damn ant. There was an ant on the table and now he's gone. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Everywhere. The ants are literally everywhere. I'm so tired of them. They're coming out of the ceiling now. They used to just be on one part of the floor, and you would just spray that part, and now they decided, oh, we don't want to come out of the, that part of your house anymore. We'll come out of the ceilings. Tony says, clean the trash pile. Uh, we will. They're not even actually in the trash pile. They're coming from the window. So they're right by the window, and they're not going toward the trash pile. They're going toward, like, the back corner of the room. King Dank says, show me the ants. Well, I will show you one if uh, I catch one crawling by, okay? They crawl by randomly. Template says the four packs are fine. All right, template. Let's do four packs of Guardian or four packs of base set. What would you prefer? Oops. What do you have back there? You got a grass energy, huh? Guardians, please. No problem. Good luck with your pulls. We actually did have a good pull come by Cheese the other day after he did a trade. Three and four. Now I'm looking for an ant for you. <laughs> make friends with the ants. <laughs> okay. Just make friends with them. That was the trick the whole time. Oops, let's put this knife up here. My pocket knife. We need the ants to pollinize the world. Don't kill them. Do ants actually pollinize? I didn't know that. Petalil, Beldum, Vulpix, Carvana, and Got the Tell. Two, three, four. We have Mariani, Aquapatch, Trubbish, Machop, Geodude, Mudbray, Sandshrew, Swellow, and Victory Bell. Next pack. Give them food for good pulls. Oh, right. True. If we put food out for the ants, I hear they give you better pulls. Litwick and... Oh! Well, I have to say, in this, this case, it really did actually work out for you. You pulled a secret rare here. Secret rare, double colorless energy, and is looking pretty well centered. I see a white dot here and a white dot there. That might end up being a 9. Maybe it will be a weak 10. 
So you actually did end up pulling a secret rare. Congratulations. And the last pack. Doot. Did not expect that. Watch Hog and Trevenant. Give the ants coronavirus. <laughs> That's what we'll do. <laughs> so this is the nicest card pulled tonight. Which means we got to put it on display. And we got right template on it so we don't get confused. Sweet. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I smacked the card. Kill viruses with viruses. This is brilliant. <laughs> Give this man a, re a reward. Smartest man. <laughs> I don't see any ants now. How convenient. They all disappear when you want to see them. Mimi virus. What? The Mimi virus. Whew. Man, I got all these energy cards. Zen Like says, hey everyone, aced a final that I didn't have time to study for. It was supposed to be next week, but school was cut short due to virus. Hey, great job, Zen Like. I'm glad to hear that. Send the ants to Italy, Coronavirus Central. Mary says, I can't die from Corona. I'm busy dying from Ebola. Budweiser virus, when? Everything is shutting down except for my job. Oh, that actually gives me an opportunity to talk about this. PSA sent out an email to everyone, and they said that they are shutting down some of the events they were hosting, but they're going to keep grading cards for now. They're going to keep grading cards for now. Cheese says, I found a small bottle of hand sanitizer. I'm going to sell a drop of sanitizer for five bucks. <laughs> A drop of hand sanitizer, huh? <laughs> Go get an ant and give them coronavirus. Oh my god, you guys. Yvonne says, open mail, please. So uh, that was what I was going to talk about. We won't be opening up mail in this live stream. I will be opening the mail up in another video, similar to the way we did the PSA submission. And then in the next live stream, I will also show the mail off. So the mail will be shown off twice. The mail will be shown off twice. Unfortunately, this live stream is going to have to be absent of mail, but don't worry. We'll have that fixed for the next time. All right, so we have this beautiful shining ho -Oh, and he is $5 if anyone wants to add him to their submission. He's a textured card from the Shining Legends set. Card Economist, is it PSA Returns or what? No, it's not PSA Returns. I do have a bunch of PSA cards in that box, though. Yeah, I have a bunch of PSA cards that I ordered online specifically for you guys for the lotto so that I would not have to pull from my my PSA collection anymore, which makes me happy. Guessy Who says, is it a 10? Hmm, that's a great question. It's a very tiny white dot here and a very tiny white dot down there. I think it has 10 potential. I think it will be close. It seems to be well-centered as well. Guess who's like, hmm, <laughs> temptation. Show price and which ones do you have left? Thank you, DL. That is good advice. I should have been doing that. Here are the price cards. So we do have Unified Minds, which is five for 20. We do have Cosmic Eclipse. Tempted to open a box for myself. Do we have Cosmic? Wait a second, do we have Cosmic? We might not have Cosmic. I need to shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. I take that back. Cosmic Eclipse is sold out. There should be more on the way. Cosmic is sold out. We do have Sword and Shield. Actually, I have a whole box of it right here. It's a fresh box of Sword, Sword and Shield. This is my last box of Sword and Shield, but there should be more of that on the way as well. So if you're after the Secret Rarization V, or you're after the Marnie, or you're after the Zamazenta V, go for it. We do have a little bit of team up. In the background, we have a full box there, and on the floor, I have a full box. Unbroken Bonds is sold out. I ordered a bunch of Unbroken Bonds, so that is on its way. It'll show up in probably like five days. We have some Guardians Rising left. Are we on the last box? We might be on the last box of Guardians Rising. 
We have plenty of Sun and Moon base set, which is 5 for 20. Shining Legends is sold out. And we have a half box of Hidden Fates and no more on the way. Uh, they're just getting harder to buy. So that's what we have. I could sell you individual cards tonight if you'd like. Uh, we have the Lotto going. That Dragonite PSA 10 is in the background. That's going to be the Lotto. And we can just chum about. We can just talk about stuff. We, you know, we never do that in this live stream. Usually, we're just so busy opening cards the entire team uh, time, we don't really talk about anything. Does Corona come in powder form? That's right. <laughs> Someone needs to buy a base set. There's a lot of base set. DL! Let's try Team Up. Let's try Team Up. Team Up, I'm guessing, hasn't sold as fast as some of the other sets because I do require a little higher payment for it. And that's because, guess what? It's harder to obtain Team Up. It is. That is the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. Let's see if we can get you a secret rare, though. You know there's a Greninja in this set? Not a Greninja. There's a Gengar in this set. My bad. Gengar, Whale Lord. Pikachu's Ekrom, which is the card I want from this set. I want another one of those. That would be the chase pull, by the way, the Pikachu's Ekrom. I own one, but I would be happy to pull another one, because if you were to happen to pull that, you will make a little bit of money on that, especially if it's well-centered, if it's a 10. You will make a little bit of money on that. There it goes. Pack number one. Boomer control. That's right, boomer remover. Okay, there's also a chance for a Charizard in this set. The team up has a rare Charizard. He's not a secret rare, he's not a GX, but that rare Charizard is a is a decent pull if you were to get it. It's valuable, it's more valuable than a lot of other cards. So if you happen to pull it, I consider that a hot pull, and you will always pick that up in this collection, even if you want bulkless. So you don't have to worry about that. Buff padding, Mr. Mine. Ingo and Emmett, War Turtle, Taurus, Nidoran, Mary, Pharisee, Charmander, Helioptile, Amistar, and Articuno. Oh, Articuno. This trash pile is unbelievable. Clefki, Pidgey, Emolga, Grass Memory, and Aloe and Marowak. Next pack. The Furry Police. What are we talking about? Rapidash, King is gone, Phariseed, Charmander, Mankey, and a lone executor. My bad. I didn't realize that was a greenback. Usually with the greenbacks, I just jump to the end. Ooh, I saw a, something shiny, right? Let's see what we get here. Execute, Larvitar, Meowth, Shaman. Nice. Gengar, Mimikyu, GX. What a great pull. <laughs> he looks well-centered, too. Who was this for? This was for DL, right? Oh, that might be a 10 right there. Beautiful. Gengar Mimikyu. Always hot. Gengar Mimikyu. You got Snorlax Eevee. I mean, it's one of the reasons why the set's so expensive. Need a King, need a Ron. What do we got here? Oops. Persian. Kabutops Pincer. That's pretty cool. Nabbed him at the same time. Oof, so it looks like you're not going to be pulling any charge arts, and you're not pulling any full arts, and you're not pulling any secret rares this time. Better luck next time, Dio. All right, we're going to get Dio right over here. I do like the Gengar Mimikyu, though. That's a really nice card. Actually, a really big fan. I don't even have that one, the GX. DL says last one. Oh, well, here we go. Last one. Two, three, four, five. There we are. What are we going to pull? One. The reverse holo Jirachi is the second best card in the set. Right, I heard about that. 
three, four. Yeah, keep our eyes on it. Uh, I, I keep forgetting about that. Do you consider reverse hollows bulk in terms of value? I don't really know what you mean by that. Oh, yes, I do. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, I do, actually. The, the vast majority of reverse hollows are not valuable. However, if you were to pull like that Jirachi or you were to pull the Charizard, totally feel free to keep it. The other thing I've said, when it comes to bulk, if you don't pull anything, so if you pull like no GXs, no full arts, you know, feel free to, to take up to two uh, the reverse hollows or the holographic rares. But the reason that the bulk list cards, the bulk list price list gives you a price cut is because you're leaving your bulk behind and that makes the shipping uh, dramatically easier, especially if I can ship to you in a letter. So I, I have to follow that rules because I think one of the things I was learning is that people were doing this trick where they're just like, yeah, just give me all my reverse hollows and hollows and also the bulk list price. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> That's not how it works. That wasn't the agreement. <laughs> what you really want is the uh, bulk pricing. They're like, yeah, just uh, take that money off of it and uh, give me the other cards. Evelyn need a queen. Like, if you see something that you really want, and you have not pulled at least two cards from five packs, just let me know what it is you wanted. Uh, but in general, I do not consider the reverse hollows valuable, or even the hollows. I do not consider either of them that valuable, and I consider them like a, I don't know, they might be worth like 10 cents, honestly. I think they're worth about 10 cents. I just thought it was fair if the regular hollow is like $4 plus. Well, again, if, if you see something you like, really just communicate that to me because I'm not trying to like, you know, I'm not trying to be a, a big hard nose about it, but I have bulk pricing and then bulk list pricing. Uh, and the reason bulk list pricing exists is because I'm supposed to be able to fit two cards into an envelope. That's the main reason. Two cards will fit into an envelope, and then the shipping falls dramatically to 50 cents to ship you your two cards. Did I receive mail from Japan? Let me check, Mary. Uh, I got mail from Canada. Kanada. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I did. Did I? This looks like it might be international. In fact, I did. Yes, I did receive mail from Japan. Mary's going to be like, oh, that's my card. <laughs> Open it. If they want those extras, then pony up the extra few bucks. Well, again, it's it's not about it's not about the value of the extra, it's not about the value of the rares and the hollows uh, to me. The, again, the the real issue here is can I ship it in an envelope? So if you don't pull anything, just tell me to give you like two rares or reverse hollows of your choice or something like that. That's fine. But if I can't ship it in an envelope, then it's not really deserving of the bulk list price because that was the whole idea behind it. Let me see my baby. All right, so this is how we cut Mary's card in half. So I, this is the bulky part. So this is how we cut it in half. <laughs> All right, let's see what you pull here, Mary. Looks pretty beat up, to tell you the truth. The bag's all blackened. Luckily, they did pack it with a lot of padding. So I believe Mary is saying that this is her mail that she sent over to me to show off to you guys and then to send to her. Is this in English? Thank you for the purchase. Do you like the product? Go give me feedback. Many thanks. Aw when they take the extra two seconds to say many thanks. Okay, plenty of bubble wrap, that's good. But is it as good as trash wrap? I don't think so. King of the trash shipping over here. You'll never beat me. I like to, re I call it recycling. When I, when I ship and I use some of the trash as padding, it's recycling, guys. I was all gonna go into a landfill anyways, right? Oh, they used a magnetic holder. That's why it's so thick. Should I freak out for you, Mary? <gasps> oh my! I don't do that. I don't, I don't freak out quite as much. I do get excited sometimes, actually. 
I do get excited, like when we pull Shining Charizard, or when I'm putting some more. Don't be shy. All right, and this is Mary's Lily card. Oh, nice. She looks fairly well centered on the front. And it looks pretty good on the back. You are casual. That's right, I'm a casual at freaking out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave it in the actual uh, case here because I don't want to touch it at all. If you actually did spend so much money on it. Yeah, I do not feel like touching it. <laughs> okay, and let's see. We had a bag for... We had a baggie for Mary. Where'd that go? Oh, I put it over here. Oh, you keep that card too. So you got this pretty little Sylveon. And you've got this uh, Japanese Lily card as well. And uh, I'll hold on to these for now. Move this over here. Good. Sweet. What next? Oh, I should probably leave it on the table so she can look at it. Duh. <laughs> so we'll put it here, Mary. How does that look? Is it shreddable? Why don't we find out? <laughs> Mary says, I want to know if I should go for BGS or PSA. Um, I've never shipped to BGS. I'm contemplating it because I have a Shining Charizard that I might be sending off to BGS to try for the black label. I probably won't get the black label. I mean, I can almost tell. I don't know if this would count as off-centering, but it might. So I don't know if they would accept that. Yeah, I mean, it already looks off-center. I don't think... I don't think I would get the black label. So that should probably just go to PSA. Um, you can consider uh, the Peach Beckett if you want. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. I can't make that decision for you. Tony G is here. Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon base set? I think he means Sun and Moon base set. Lotto. How's it going, Stratosphere? Watch Stratosphere walk out of this lotto with the full win with just five bucks. <laughs> so, Anthony, was uh, the base set specifically what you're going after? Close that up. Tony says yes. Very cool, Tony. She's given out only to the winners of the Extra Battle Day Champions event 2020 Japanese Tokyo, and the winner was given a pack that contains two other cards. Oh, very cool. Alright, so Stratos in the lotto, and we're going to open these cards up for... Tony G! Death Pile says, do you know what the cases the Lily card is in? Yes, those are called magnetic cases. They're sold by Tops. I actually have some under my desk if you'd like to buy them. I would sell them to you for about two fifty each. I would do two fifty each, and the reason it has to be a little higher is because uh, that will just cover the shipping. So I'm not going to say like a dollar plus shipping. I'm just going to say two fifty each. They're actually pretty heavy, and they they uh, not only are they heavy, but they will make it so that whatever you had is going to require probably a box to ship in. God, I hate shipping in boxes. <laughs> Using envelopes is amazing. Oh, you pulled something. Sweet. Shiftry? What, what do you pull? Lorantis. Lorantis Full Art. Very good. First pack, too. You might get another card then. So, Lorantis Full Art on the first pack. Tony G with his secret rare Raichu. Oh, that was shiny, too. That might be a GX back there. Spiro, Grimer, Rowlet, Drowsy, Primarina, and Lorantis GX. So now you have the GX and the full art. Very good. <laughs> oh my god, you just got another... What? That's another white back. Last team up. For reals, this time they give away two lottos. For reals. Holographic Orangaroo. Nobody cares about you, Holographic Orangaroo. Okay. You're kind of stinky. You're kind of stinky. Kind of flinging his own poo around. DL says, last team up for reels and give away two lottos. Oh, you're too generous. Too generous. Don't be shy. Put some more. Toucan and Sharpedo. 
template says, I need them mulattoes. So these are going to be for Tony G. Congratulations on your pulse. She looks like she's dabbing here, doesn't she? That's a dab, for sure. That's definitely a dab. Template says, I went too hard. <laughs> I understand that feeling, Template. That's what I did when I first got back into card collecting, is I went too hard. And uh, But you know what? Uh, give it a little bit of time. Keep working. Uh, and be careful in the future. <laughs> uh, there's no easy way to tell someone not to go too hard. Because it's like, I can tell them to go too hard, and then they're going to go too hard, no matter what. Mary uses a hose to wipe. I know exactly that feeling, Tamla. I did exactly the same thing when I first got back into collecting. I was just buying literally everything. I was just buying everything. It's, it's, a, it's a strong addiction feeling. It's a good feeling, too. I was reading about the psychology behind collecting. There's a whole... Uh, funny enough, psychologists don't fully understand why we collect things. But there's a lot of theories as to why we collect things. Uh, for example, psychologists believe we might have developed the desire to collect things because people who collected like food before the winter were more likely to survive the winter. And then because of that, they had more children. So there's all kinds of theories as to why we collect. They also f found out that people are more likely to get into collecting as children. And if you collected as children, you become a collector as an adult. And that was true for me. When I was young, I loved collecting things. So it's a very interesting trait of human psych psychology. Uh, and they don't they also don't understand where the line is where collecting becomes hoarding. So there's kind of like this point where collecting can become like a pathology or a uh, basically it's dysfunctional. So you can reach a point where you're dysfunctional with your desire to collect. But it is it is actually a basic human driver kind of like wanting to eat, wanting to sleep, wanting to have sex. Collecting is one of those very basic instinctual drivers in humans. And uh, they just don't understand it that well. And that, again, there's all these theories as to why we do it. A lot of people who survived the Great Depression, they all became uh, hoarders. Isn't that interesting? So they became hoarders because they were so used to, as children, not having enough to go around. And then uh, they became hoarders. And that gave them a sense of security, but also it was really just about surviving. They're like, we have, oh man, look at this card. Dude, it's too bad it's off center. Look, this is heavily off center. Thin, thin, fat, fat. Otherwise I'd say grade that card. I've seen this card sell for a decent amount as a PSA 10, but that won't pull a 10. Dude, that's a hot card right there. I like it. That's from Team Up, guys. Team Up's a cool set. Pupitar, Pokemon, Hone Edge, Nita Ran, Magikarp, Puccino. But yeah, anyways, so it's, it's a very interesting subject. And I was reading about it last night and this morning because I was so fascinated by it. I was fascinated by my own desire to collect cards. I'm like, why do I do that with my money? I don't really do that with anything else in life. And it's, it is all based on like really very instinctual psychological drivers. You ever think of like the dragon sitting on his pile of gold? Why does a dragon sit on a pile of gold? What well, probably is the same concept of why like a squirrel puts a lot of nuts away for the winter. It's the same idea. Two Ulta Pro Magnetic Card Cases, please. Who was that? That was Death Pile? All right, Death Pile. Death Pile, do you already have cards? I'm trying to remember if I got cards already going out to you, Death Pile. These are really heavy. I did. I did. I'll set these aside. Hey, you know, maybe if you buy something later, get these all shipped out at the same time. Oops. So this time around, DL also had some pretty tough pulls. I'm sorry about that, DL. Gets the best of us. You were really, really lucky the last time, uh, the last shipment uh or yeah the last psa cycle you got all those really hot pulls and i was really impressed and yeah you gotta you've got to appreciate how lucky you've been and uh, who knows maybe you'll continue to be really lucky i think i think it averages out for everyone there's no way to escape the averaging out i know it happens to me i get some good pulls i get some bad pulls so it, it averages out for sure 
Westfire says, is anyone freaking out about coronavirus? No, I'm not. I, I really don't. Dratini? Let's check for that Dratini. Wait, where's, where would the Dratini be? For sure, man. Here you are. Sadly, he looks off-center, too. Don't you hate that? Freaking off-centering. Derek, show the Lily close-up to her face. You can see her crying. What? Hold on. All right, there's the Dratini. Is she crying? Oh, yeah, she's got the little... she, she got the little happy tears, sort of. <laughs> Mary. Does that his brother or something like that back there? I don't think he's going to buy cars. I should just get this off the table. So that's going to Mary. This is the Jirachi, by the way, that they're talking about. This team-up Jirachi is uh, apparently pretty valuable. Looks like I have the hollow version of it. 25 in toilet paper. Damn, toilet paper. Damn, people are crazy. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Jirachi OP. That's right. <laughs> OP. Wow, we are already heading toward the ending of the first hour of the live stream. This live stream just goes by real fast. Look at all this cardboard, man. So much of this is not valuable. It's interesting because they slip in a few valuable cards, right? Like secret rares, uh, full arts. But you actually, you purchase a lot of these cards and we know they're not valuable. Nobody wants to buy them. You got bulk guys who are like, well, I will give you three, I will give you zero point, yeah, three cents per card or something like that. And it's like, what? I'll give you one penny for that energy card. <laughs> the Jirachi was in every deck before it was so heavily played. I wonder if it still gets played. Maybe not. Blazer OP says, I'm so scared. Tell you guys what, I'm going to go ahead and open up some. Oh, you know what? I actually do have a card I'd like to open. I bought a pack of Rocket Returns. I'm wondering if I should open it in the live stream. No, I'm not going to open it in the live stream. I'm going to open it in a video. I think I do want to make more videos for this channel, specifically because the quality of the, the, the video quality is higher than the live streams. Mary says, $32 to grade Lily, right? Uh, Mary, you need to look up and find out if the, Mar if the Lily goes for more than $500 as a 10. If it does not, then yeah, $32. Whew. DL. Oh, right. DL gave out two two energy cards. One, two. There we go. So, Mary, it's going to cost more than $32 to grade her, unfortunately. Uh, I'll have to research it if she goes for more than that. So, DL is giving these two cards out. And what I've been doing is I've just been giving it to people who open up packs on the table. That would be Tony G and DL. Tony G and DL bought packs today. Did, I, did somebody else? I thought somebody else did too. I, Tem, Temlet did a trade. That's not quite the same. Temlet did a trade. So this is going to go to... Wait, DL's the one who bought the cards. He's the one who bought the lottos. <laughs> so this is going to go to Tony G. From DL. Thank you, DL. And... This energy card, I think we'll save it for whoever buys uh, packs tonight. I'll, I'll give it out to whoever else goes on to the table. DL, you are a very generous man. Did you know that? Very cool, man. Boop. Ooh, Nelly. How about some? How about some code cards? You know, we don't do code cards very often which means that the people in the live stream who really are part of the community and you guys do watch, you're going to get these codes. So let's do a few code cards. You ready? All right. I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching. 
and being part of this community and opening cards and letting each other see each other's pulls. It's very cool. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of code cards here. Start giving these away. Base set. Oops, and that's all of them. So hopefully, if people who are good friends of ours and you're in the stream, hopefully those go to you. I don't want just a bunch of people who are just here to snipe codes taking them. That's all. That's all. And, and I'm supposed to be giving those away in the Discord. I, I guess I've gotten a little maybe lazy. It's not that I don't want to give them away. Is I'm I'm genuinely just very busy all the time. I'm genuinely, as soon as this stream is over, I go and I stretch my back and I lay down and try to spend time with my wife because I don't always spend enough time with her, so. <laughs> this is going to be for me. I figure if we do it at like just a random part in the stream like that, real quiet, real sneaky, they can't get sniped too much. Right, pack number one. I'll open some packs for myself tonight. Why not? Just a little bit of a slow night. What day is it? Is Monday? Happy Monday, everyone. Who here is affected by coronavirus? Are you allowed to go into work like normal? I understand some people are going to school from home. That's pretty cool. That means you get to use Chegg and uh, Quizlet for your tests, right? <laughs> Online tests? Hell yeah. <laughs> Easy A. <laughs> Man to buzz. Hello and muck. She says, I'm still working. Yeah, man, it's kind of scary, actually, if you think about it. You got, like, fast food workers, and it makes you wonder, like, can I trust fast food? Because they, they pass hands with a lot of people. Charmander, Hone Edge, Heliolisk, Starmie. My two little girls are going to school, as usual. Very cool. Oh, you got two girls. TCC, should I grade my Caitlyn? Uh, TCC, uh, Cheese, I strongly recommend grading your Caitlyn. Yeah, if, if that was my card, I would grade it in a heartbeat. That card looks like a, a pretty clean card. It looks like a 10. And if it were to grade a 10, it would be worth a great more, a great deal more. What's nice about grading cards, there is, you know, of course, there's a base cost to grading them, but they become, in my opinion, much more easy to sell, much more liquid, if you want to use that word. They become much more of a liquid asset once they've been graded, because people generally do trust the grades. Oh, nice. I pulled Pikachu Zekrom GX. Ah, dots down here. I think I'll send it off anyways. I really like this card. See, look at this GX card. Even though it's not textured, and technically each box has more GXs than full arts or secret rares, it's still one of the rarer GXs, I imagine, and it just looks so good. So we definitely have to send this one off. Yeah, I believe that grading the cards is one of the best ways to kind of make money out of the Pokemon cards. It's kind of like treasure hunting. When you're opening the packs, it's kind of like treasure hunting. And then when you actually find treasure, you need to ask yourself, what is the best way to sell this? And in my opinion, the ability to sell the card goes up when you have an official grade on it, especially if that grade happens to be a good grade. See what I'm saying? So if you happen to get a good grade, you're doing real well. Dude, that was a good pull, actually. Maybe I should go again. And already my back's starting to get tired. Well, I've already been, I've been sitting in that chair all day, and then I did a two-hour stream over there, and now I'm doing a... We're at an hour stream over here. Symphonia says, all right, fess up. You ready, Symphonia? Who's ready? Symphonia, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, you thought I was done? <laughs> Don't be shy. How much do you think this is worth? Probably worth like 10 bucks. Not too much. Codes aren't actually that, they're not like super valuable. You know what I mean? All right. 
Thank you for being part of the community, guys. Happy to have you all here. It's nice to have friends to it's nice to have friends to collect with, essentially. So look at Mary's comment below. What <laughs> you got me there, cheese. <laughs> I'm so used to uh, my comment above. <laughs> right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna now, as you guys know, since I have given out some code cards, my channel will grow immeasurable, immeasurably. Uh, the next thing I would have to do is a giveaway, right? So in order for my channel to grow immeasurably, I have to do a giveaway. So I'm giving out these five packs to anyone in the live stream right now. Not just people who bought packs, but anyone. And you need to guess the combination of these three dice. So you're allowed to guess what you think the addition of these three dice is. You're not allowed to have the same guess as someone else. If you do, I'm going to go with the earlier person, whoever guessed it first. You're only allowed to have one guess. And if you win, you have to share your address with me in the Discord, okay? So I'm giving out five packs just for fun. And, and uh, it's Horizon is not 256. It's the addition of 2, 5, and 6, okay? So I don't want to do math for you. <laughs> Matt says not participating. We're going to get started in 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Now here's the trick. It's actually going to be four dice. Are you ready? So that's going to be 12 plus zero. So a total of 12. And let's see who said 12 first. Stratosphere. How's it going, Stratosphere? Stratosphere gets the three cards, or the five cards. This is from the base set. Good luck, Stratosphere. Just sharing some nice pulls with my friends in the live stream. We did a bazillion code cards. There we go. Throw that off to the side. It's okay, Horizon. <laughs> a lot of people thought that's how it worked the very first time I did the dice game. A lot of people thought that's how it worked. Three, four. So let's see, we have, oh, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to keep the bulk to make the shipping easier, okay? Because I, I really do enjoy easy shipping. It, it saves me so much time. We've got Switch and Bruxish. If you don't mind, it really is all about not having to ship boxes. Because once people's poles get large enough, now I have to start doing boxes. And once you start using boxes to ship, it gets expensive and it gets very time absorbing it takes all your time basically all right let's see what stratosphere pulls if anything hopefully something nice it's supposed to be something nice spiro grimer rowlet drowsy rogan rolla and dragonite i'm gonna give you that dragonite he looks really cool i wouldn't mind you handling my lily on your next video sharing her off and taking a good look giving your opinion on the card and what you think of the future marketing could be the future marketing. So what you're saying is you want me to do a live or you want me to do a video where I shredder? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Chin Chow, Pincer, and Palisand. All right, so if you don't pull a GX card, I'm sending you this Pincer as well. He looks cool as hell. I'm a big fan of Pincer. One, two, three, four. I wonder what the best, you know, like rare reverse hollow of every set is. I wonder if there's a way. To, there's probably a way to know that. I should probably know that. Ooh, I should have like a guide, like a, oh, I should have like a set of sheets stapled together and I should like flip through every time somebody asks me to open a set. So I have the prices memorized. So these are going to be for Stratosphere. No hot pulls. You did pick up a Dragonite and Pincer. It was for fun. Uh, Stratosphere, does, is he on the table? I can't remember. Imagine he would have been. Might have put him off to the side. So we have Mikrob. Mikrob is pretty consistent. Ran Misio, who bought a lot. Okay, we're going to get you a new bag. Pincer. Did I say Pincer? Pincer. I'm actually a fan of him, even though I hate him in Hidden Face. He's so annoying in Hidden Face, isn't he? He's literally the worst. Somebody somebody proved me wrong. Pincer is literally the worst in Hidden Face. Any chance to keep the Rainbow Energy? Why not? Let's get that Rainbow Energy out. 
Let's get that rainbow energy. Oh, did my cats just break glass? I heard a crash and a big, a second crash. Well, if you really want it, it's, it's very off center. So it's thin up here, thin here, and then thick here and thick here. Are you sure you want it? I add it anyways. But I'm gonna remove pincer or dragonite in order to keep it at the two card limit for bulkless. Dale says, oof, wait for Strato to make up his mind. Remove pincer. <laughs> I'm going to go send that pincer off for grading. Pincer's going to be like, you going to treat me that way? <laughs> off you go, pincer, to the bulk pile. Out of here. I think it's time to do more giveaways. What do you guys think? So we're going to do four packs of unbroken bonds. And by the way, if you guys appreciate this, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't mind, I don't, I don't fully understand if like button hitting the like button makes a huge difference, especially with the channel as small as mine. Uh, but it makes me feel good. So who cares? All right, go ahead. Oh, you know what? We're not going to do dice. Let's not do dice. All right. So what we're going to do is guess the card. So you have to guess which card this is. All right. Go ahead and start guessing. Whoever guesses the card first gets the packs. Shuckle. <laughs> I'm going to be picky on this one. You have to guess the actual card, okay? So it can't just be some details of the card. You have to guess the actual card. All right, your first guess is this is going to be an electric Pokemon. <laughs> Mewtwo and Mew. I don't even have a Mewtwo and Mew. Somebody bought it from me. Guess number two. You have to guess the actual card, okay, guys? Just t just letting you know. You can't just guess what Pokemon it is. You have to guess the actual card. So the, the full identity of the card. Guess number two. It is from the Rocket set. You guys are so funny. Tip number three. This card is worth about $4,000. Tori's like, my head hurts. You have to guess the actual card. So, uh, you know, the PSA gradings, they're relevant, but the card, the, the full identity of the card. Nobody's guessing it. So most of you guys have figured out it is a Team Rockets Magneton, but none of you... Oh, there we go. Cheese got it. First edition. So the first edition makes it worth about $4,000 more than, you know, a regular Dark Magneton. So that's an important part of the card. It's, it's a holographic Dark Magneton first edition. See? So that's the actual card. It's just saying Dark Magneton's too easy. So that's why when we do the Guess the Card game, you're going to have to guess more details uh, you're going to have to guess what the card actually is. You're going to have to identify the card. Uh, the PSA grading is irrelevant. So you've got to identify the card, though. All right, so this is going to Cheese. Congratulations, Cheese. Hopefully a hot pull in here. We'll have to see. It's only four packs, so you never know what's going to happen in four packs. <laughs> yeah, there was a point where you guys did correctly guess that it was Dark Magneton, uh, but I was waiting for somebody to say Dark Magneton 1st Edition, and I was hoping somebody would say Hollow as well. 
but nobody was actually saying that. Like imagine if you had to find the card on eBay. Imagine that. You would have to use the right keywords to identify the actual card. Okay, here we go. So this is for Cheese. Good luck, Cheese. Cheese is the man. Man with the plan. He pulled his Marnie and he sent her off for grading. Well, hopefully she comes back at 10 too. I'm creator, Toyota Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> licky licky the ladies love him he's a big boy keep you warm in the winter though <laughs> winter boyfriend charger bug power plant coca strap croaky my i think my wife went to bed she's not on the couch anymore i think i woke her up and she left when she's real sleepy she doesn't stick around all the time for the live stream because of all the noise that comes when you guys make a purchase all right, we have Tyrogue, Fairy Charm, Triple Acceleration, Gligar, Seal, Clefairy, Litten, Carvana, Wigglytuff, and Mewtwo. Last pack. Come on, we need some last last pack luck. Come on, last pack luck. Stealthy Hood, Tentacruel, Triple Acceleration, Venonat, Lickitung, Spritzy, Poliwag, Doduo, Caillou Rem, and Doug Trio. No hot pulls in that one, I'm afraid. Wow, that was two for two, actually. We had uh, Strato and Cheese. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fix this pile a little bit. Do you want this Kyurum? I don't know if you want the Kyurum. Cheese, I don't know if you're a big Kyurum fan. Let's get a ticket. Mahasvara, how's it going, my man? We'll get you a ticket, Ma Mahasvara. Pretty close to doing the next lotto. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, Dragonite is the lotto. and show me how many's left. That's going to be Mahas Vara. And DL giving away two more tickets. Wow. Jesus Christ, man. So these tickets are for free from DL. And no one else has bought cards. Uh, what we're doing here, all three of these are from DL. Anyone who buys packs now, you're getting a free ticket with your next pack purchase. So if you were going to buy packs, now would be a great time to do it. Uh, I, I think I have actually... We have five unbroken bonds left, and we actually just swept the unbroken bonds with Cheese's free giveaway. So there might be a hot pull in there. That will be $23 bulkless, and you'll get an energy card as well. So that's about as good as it gets. I can't promise there's going to be a hot pull in those bonds, though. So, <laughs> so that's Mahasvara, and there are three free lotto tickets on the table. And I'm, I'm handing it out to people who are on the table from tonight. People are like, I can't. When you literally buy everything already. Five lotto, you choose the people. Oh, oh I just killed a Nant on the wall rather than showing it to you. God damn it. There were only four left. So, uh, Jonathan Cham, this... Fifth one is going to be for you for the next lotto. Oh, we'll set this to the side. I love you Symphonia. Uh, Symphonia, what set would you like me to open? Oh, he did the Unbroken Bonds. He did 23. I got you. <laughs> well, that price is only supposed to apply the... the, the uh, the price is supposed to be 25 but don't worry about it, Symphonia. Everyone's being generous. We're going to do this for 23 for you. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry a little bit. All right, easy Charizard restaurant pull. You're right. <laughs> Hopefully something, though, right? Because we just opened four packs for cheese, and these are my very last Unbroken Bonds packs. I have literally none after this. Hi, we have Porygon, Samson Oak, Lieutenant Surge, Seal, Clefairy, Litten, Carvana, Ekans, Sandshrew, and Marowak. I just popped my thumb knuckle, I'm sorry. Not do that on. Not do that in the middle of the live stream, that's inappropriate. I'd cry if it was Charizard Reshiram. Oh no. <laughs> Zubat and Arba. I would too, because I could have opened these myself. 
All right, that's going to be a white back on that one. Let's find out what it is. Hopefully more than just a hollow rare, right? Oh, it's something. Martial Arts Dojo, Oddish, Kerbrawler, Froki, Litten, Dude, Sandile, and Faramosa Buzzwool GX. The least important GX in the set, in my opinion. Yikes. <laughs> See, it could have been like Dedenne. <laughs> could have been Dedenne, dude. That'd be like 20 bucks right there. Next pack. Last pack magic. Let's find out if there's any last pack magic. The last pack. Let's see what happens. Sometimes there's a little bit of last pack magic. Oh, actually, that Mew's pretty cute. I'll give you the Mew. Feeling pretty cute, not going to lie. Okay. Oh, I thought I had a Symphonia box. I guess I don't have a Symphonia box anymore. So these are going to go off to Symphonia. Congratulations on Pheromosa Buzzwool. <laughs> DL says, how many packs left in Team team Up box I've been pulling from? Uh, you emptied the box. That was the end of that box. So we have uh, this one here, and we have one on the floor. And do I have a sealed one? Oh, you're not done pulling from that box. I'm sorry. No, there's still some in the box. I don't know how many. I, I was confused. Wait, so do I not have any... How much do I actually have left? Oh, I think I opened a sealed one that wasn't opened before. Oh, there's very little team up left. Team up's almost gone, guys. Damn. There, there's some left, but it's not, it's not the way it normally is. I don't know which ones have uh, full arts in them either. I know what you're asking. You're at, your question is, hey, how much, how much until I pull the <laughs> secret rare? So this is going to be Symphonia. I think that's generally what everyone wants to know, right? Why am I going to get that secret rare? This is going to go to Symphonia. She was given out to only the winners of the Extra Battle Day. Oh. Good luck, Symphonia. Oh, I should write from DL on this. She was a one-third chance, and you had to win to even get a pack. What? No, uh, uh I'll go ahead and open up some team up for my oh. DL. Last time, let's go team. Oh, we are so close to being out of team up. Let's see what happens. Good luck. There we go. One full art left. I actually think there's two full arts left. I think there's two of them. Two, three, four. So we have Lavender Town, War Turtle, Heliolisk, Nidoran, Magikarp, Pugina, Alolan Geodude, Wondrous Labyrinth, and Alolan Golem. So, uh, you know, one of the things I've realized also with telling people that they have like a box assigned to them, I've realized you can run into a problem where after they pull the secret rare out of that box, especially if they pull it halfway through, they're like, all right, I'm done with that set. So I, I don't want that to happen either. So when it comes to the booster boxes, they're going to continue to remain a little more mysterious. <laughs> I think that was a question somebody asked me a while back, and I realized that, that can, can occur, which meant that the booster boxes have to remain fully a kind of a mystery. They have to remain a mystery in order to be unsearched. But I, I can tell you, I try to help you. I do I try to help people. I try to help people from being sniped specifically. Let's get a sand based set with all. I hope you pull the Snorlax Eevee. Now, what was that? Somebody said, Masvara said, let's get some base set with bulk. Nice. Yeah, I gotta keep, gotta keep the boxes a secret, I think. So, Ruwa and Beedrill. TCC helped me get my Marnie. Oh, I didn't do it. You did it, Cheese. Thanks for letting us watch you uh, pick up that Marnie. That was very cool. Joe Dude, Grimer, and a lone graveler with the Lapras. Man, those are tough pulls tonight. Jesus. What what's the best thing we've pulled? This this double colorless energy. We gotta get a hot pull tonight, guys. Team up. 
introduce that Death Stalker Stratosphere. Everyone wants team up all of a sudden. Team up with Bulk PLZ. All right, here we go for Mahasvara. Good luck, Mahasvara. So first of all, I'm going to take one of these tickets for you, Mahasvara, and put it in the lotto. These tickets were donated by DL and Stratosphere, not Stratosphere, uh, <laughs> JC. So thank you for that, guys. And I'm handing it out to people who buy packs next as like a bonus treat. It's like a bonus. Give people some of my pity pull cards. Oh, your pity pull cards. I forgot about them. DL actually should be getting some of those. I forgot about them. I, I'm not used to handing them out because I haven't been. Oops. I did drop a dice. So hold on. There we go. Fire energy. Oh, this is starting to get into a mess. And these actually are purchased. I actually have to ship these. I need like a spot for them that's safe. I'm putting them in the box. All right. All right, so these are shuffled. Let me split it in half. All right, so you're going to get two DL because you've had some tough pulls tonight. Thanks for reminding me of that cheese. I had totally forgotten. Is there some prop I can use to hold these up? Probably not. I know what. I can put them over here. This will be a good prop. I got this box right here that I'm never I never use it. Perfect. That's gonna be that's gonna work out much better. So let's see what you got from the pity pools. You got reverse hollow Marnie and you got Moltres Zapdos Articuno. Thanks to Cheese. Very generous, Cheese. Alright, and now we're opening these cards for Mahasvara. Good luck, Mahasvara. Just letting you guys know, we're at an hour and 20 minutes, so the stream is over in 40 minutes. We are not doing three-hour streams anymore, because I'm not going to die from butt cancer. No thanks. No thanks. I'm going to get some blood flowing and not sit on my butt for three hours. It just sounds bad. It just sounds bad. I feel bad when I do it. I don't even feel healthy when I've sat that long. I feel like I'm killing myself. <laughs> Bonsweet, Diglett, Dratini, Poliswirl, and Poliwrath. What? Gotta have something better than that. Oh, this is it. This is the secret rare. You guys ready? This is gonna be a secret rare. Guaranteed. 100%. Guaranteed or your money back. Except not. Stuffle, Araquanid, and Decidueye. GX. Looking pretty well centered, actually. Uh, I see a white dot on one side. That might be a nine. Goddamn white dots. Get out of here. The little white dots ruin your grades. Kukui, Corsola, Repel, Makuhita, Firo, Grubbin, Drowsy, Crabrawler, Ratata, and Stoutland. Isn't it funny when like a Pokemon has a very Japanese sounding name? You'll get like these really English sounding names like Vanillux, but then you'll get like Makuhita. And it's like, what? <laughs> There's no like easy translation. <laughs> Wingle, Crobat, and Masquerain. Last pack. Nope, there we go. We have Lima, Passimian, Pokemon Catcher, Cutie, Cutie Fly, Chinchow, Morlul, Skarmory, Caterpie, Energy Retrieval, and Cosmoem. Masfara, I finally got Lily. She arrived early. What? Okay, so this is going to be Mahasvara's. He said with bulk. He said with bulk. I'm sorry. With bulk. That's, that's everything. Perfect. Just shred the Decidueye. Tell you what, when you guys feel like shredding cards, we can have a pity pull pile and you can donate to the pity pull pile. I think that will actually be much more constructive. Don't you guys think? We will reserve the shredder for evil Pokemon or super annoying feminist Pokemon. <laughs> he says shred is shred. So I think that is 
really a good idea because, you know, those I ran out of those dark rice pretty fast, believe it or not, like 50 of them, and we just went through them. So we can have a pity pile, and what we can do is fill it up with cards that we would like to share with others, and these cards can then be uh, added to your pack. Can you please look up the value of my double colorless energy as a PSA 10? I could do that. Um, you know, it's also very easy for you guys to do that. I am I am the host of the live stream, and I'm usually doing something with my hands. You guys are just watching. You might just be able to open up a tab to eBay and check yourself, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's pretty easy. You just search what you have. Here, do you need some information on it? It's, what set with this, was this from? Guardians Rising 166. So you just search Guardians Rising 166, PSA 10, and then you sort it by buy now cheapest. That's what you look for. And then you kind of, you know, you, you make sure that it's a quality, make sure there's nothing wrong with it, obviously, like a cracked case, for example. We wouldn't want that. Okay, after Mahasvara, Deathstalker wants some team up. Let's get a secret rare pull. Come on, we haven't seen one yet. We need a hot secret rare. No, wait, we did see one. We saw the double colorless energy, but that's the best one tonight still. Best pull of the night, I think, is that secret rare. So we will have a pity pile, and the way the pity pile will work is the cards in that pile will be shuffled, and when you get no pulls, you will get a free pull from a friend. Oh, pretty good. 45? See, 45 is not bad, in my opinion. Hitting around the 50 mark. Oh, something in there. Nita, Tauros, Tora Cat, Meowth, and, and did he pay for bulk with this one? Deathstalker did not pay with Okay, so this is bulkless. Psyduck, Vulpix, Alone, Executor, and Mr. Mime. All right. TCC is my friend. Whew. That's right. <laughs> Tauros, Tora Cat. We're going to look for that Charizard, even if it's just a reverse hollow. Ammonite and Muck. No Charizard. <laughs> Kakuna, Klefki, Voltorb, Weedle, Volibee, Dratini, Pupitar, and Mr. Mime again. Next pack. We have Pupitar, Kakuna, Nidorino, Pidgey, Bronzor, Puccina, Nidoran. By the way, I found out just the other day that you can live stream from TikTok. So I might do a TikTok live stream someday just to see what it's like. I have no clue if it would really be worth my time. I feel like it wouldn't be worth my time, but I'm, I'm just probably going to do it for fun. I like trying out new technologies. Tentacool, Paris, Ponyard, Staryu, Hone Edge, Pokemon Communication. Nice. Pikachu, Zekrom, GX. Very good. Love that card so much. Look how nice that card looks. Jesus. Such a hot card. All right. This is for Deathstalker, the free energy. I don't know if it's from DL or... I think this one is from JC. I think we already did two. I thought you were just going to get the Mr. Mime. You pick up that nice Pikachu Zekrom. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I would send those all off. See, I think that with the, the GX cards, if it's an ugly art on the card, it's not really going to be too valuable over time. But if it's a very good art on the card, I think it will be valuable. Talent says, can I see my cards? Well, hold on. Uh, not at the moment. We're going to help Stratosphere next. So Stratosphere wants team up with Bulk. With Bulk. With Bulk, he says. Two. Three. Four. And five. Oops. 
Give me that cardboard. Mary being like this, what? We're on a time crunch now, guys. That's right, we're near the end of the live stream. We are near the end of the live stream. I don't want to do three hour live streams anymore. It's bad for my health. So two hour live streams is the limit on my main channel and it is the limit on this channel as well. Aerodactyl and Starmie. It's very off center Aerodactyl. You gotta spin that lotto before the stream ends. Sounds good, DL. Sounds good. Farfetch, Tentacruel, Evelyn, Mary, Bullpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Bisharp, and Pidgeot. Next pack. Oops. Template says I'm not in the lotto. Template. You're right, Template. You bought. No, you didn't buy cards. You traded. <laughs> you traded this time. But I tell you what, Template. Template, I like you. So if we have. If we have a leftover lotto ticket, I think I'm going to put you in line to pick up that energy card. You opened up a lot of cards for us over the last week. And I think just giving you like one or two lotto cards is the least we can do, right? Right, guys? That's the least we can do. I like you too. Oh my god, are we boyfriends? We're boyfriends. We're boyfriends. We're bo booty... Oh, here we go. Brock's Grit. Woo! About time, man. I was like, where's the full art? So, two full arts have been pulled from that box? I'm trying to keep track. I don't know if it has. Hey, that might that might be a 10. It's off center. That's looking pretty good. So, who was that? That was Stratosphere, right? Stratosphere, team up with Bulk. Nice, man. Well, it says that's a nice card. I haven't seen it. I know Wellix. Wellix is going to like Brock's Grit because he likes Steelix and Onyx. And we all know Brock is a big Steelix Onyx fan. So hold on. We're not done. Stratosphere is also going to get one of these tickets. Here you go, Stratosphere. That's going to be JC. It looks like one more of these actually should have been DLs. So let's give one to Temlet as well. Temlet. Thanks for letting us see all those pulls over the last week. That was crazy, man. Did we get one to Death? Yeah, we gave one to Death Stalker. So we got two left. Uh, do the lotto so I can get to bed, you freak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. You know, cheese went pretty crazy last week, too. We're going to do cheese. And um, let's see. Thanks, Dio. And no problem, TC. Anything to people's amusement. Last pack can go to... You know what? Ran Misiel went pretty crazy, didn't he? So we're going to do Ran Misiel. Almost forgot about him. So he went pretty crazy just the other day. That's going to be DL as well. All right. Thank you for the donations, JC and DL. People also easily probably forget that DL and JC have given away a crazy number of these energy, energy cards to get the lotto running. So I think DL and JC are actually the... I think they've been the most generous... Followed probably by Cheese, if I had to guess. I think Cheese gave away a lot of cards. Very cool, guys. Just be careful. <laughs> be careful with your wallets. <laughs> Alright, here we are. TCC, the fiscal conservative. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm a Bernie bro. Give me some of that redistribution, boys. So, templates, I'm going to put your card away for now so it doesn't get messed up by the energy lotto. We don't want any chance of that happening. It's going to go into your baggie. I don't think anything bad would happen, but it's got those metal legs, and if I were to, like, drop it, I would hate to bend your card. I think about those kind of worst-case scenarios. I'm a worst-case scenario kind of person. Do you guys know that? So when I am just doing my everyday stuff, I'm constantly imagining a worst-case scenario. It's very natural for me. It's why I've been driving for... How long have I been driving? 13 years? I think it's 14 years. And, well, technically 15, because I drove illegally when I was... Uh, when I turned 17... No, when I turned... Right, right. I drove... Bef I, I was allowed to get a driver's license. I didn't have it yet. And I was driving illegally for a little while when I was younger. But that would have been... That would have been... I think I was technically 18, actually. So no, it's been 14 years of driving and I've never had a car accident. Eight 
19 years, no car accidents. And I hope it stays that way for my entire life. All right, we're just going to pick this one right in the front that's spilling over. And we're going to throw this one off to the side. You guys know the drill. Here's the winner's card. Let me dump these off to the side. There's no room for me to dump it off to the side. Blech. Oops. Oh. Okay. Make sure the camera can't fall off the table. <laughs> this guy will get to go back into the drum. Second chance winner. Meaning he, he didn't win the lotto. He just gets to go back in. Cheese, you're going back in, Cheese. You're on a journey now, Cheese. After Cheese, what do we got? What do we have? We have, oh, Fight Energy. You know what? I feel like I remember writing a name on that one, but I can't remember whose name it was. Whose name did I put on the Fighter Energy? God. Whose name did I put on the Fighter Energy? What the, Was it Deathstalker? I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. All right. If you had a Fighter Energy, this might be your card. Bruh. 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 Oh. Interesting. The winner, I do remember. I do remember now. Here we go. The winner is Cheese. Cheese, you won the lotto. <laughs> Congratulations, Cheese. Thank you, DL and JC and everyone else who went deep to get this lotto moving. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Winners. Ticket. Oh, cheese, cheese, my man! You got the you got the second chance win, and the main win. That's pretty lucky. That's pretty lucky. Wow. So, cheese, you end up with this PSA ten Dragonite, which will be the envy of everyone at your local dinner party. Everyone will be like, "Damn, boy!" And then you got these Guardians Rising. Let's see if we can pull a secret rare out of here. Hopefully. I think Temlet might have stolen a secret rare out of this. We'll have to see. Because it was actually a trainer card that he pulled. He pulled a trainer card. And I think we've seen cases where the trainer card doesn't seem to count as an actual secret rare. So we'll have to see. But you know, if we can get a full art or a GX, that'd be nice. There's David P with this sexy shiny Rayquaza in the back. We'll have to see. He wants to sacrifice it to Naughty Lightbulb. We got Wimpod Lilligant. Now, you guys know what this means. With the lotto being finished, we're going to have to start up a fresh lotto. That's exactly what that means. We've got Matang, Altar of the Moon, got the tell. Three, four. Okay, the fish, Brooklet. I hate saying that fish's name. It's such a dumb name. <laughs> Panchan, Bellsprout, Cottony, Oracorio, and Holographic Mimikyu. It's actually a pretty cute card. Uh, it looks like a little white wear on the bottom edge there. Couldn't even grade that. Sad. <laughs> Pass. Next pack. Goob. Gudra. You got you got uh, Emma's Gudra. Man, I haven't seen Emma in a while. I wish Emma would come back. Last pack. Can I trade my Chunky Dragonite for packs? Uh, I would be open-minded to that, I think. We've been doing some trades lately. What kind of packs do you want? Sableye. Oh, you pulled Malo. Nice, dude. Full art Malo. I knew there had to be something good in here. Look at that. She got these nice berries. She's all like, let me cook them berries for you. Looking. She's looking pretty good. I think I see... Is that a white dot? It's, it's so minute. I wonder if they would take off for that. So this is looking pretty well centered. And you do have a free grading if you want to send her off for grading. Uh, and you have the Dragonite. Great winnings, actually. Wow. Marnie has a friend now. <laughs> well, he's got the Cynthia Caitlin. He's got the Marnie. He just picked up uh, Mallow. 
and he I think you're looking for who was it Rosa oh but you know what we, we won't have more cosmic until more cosmic arrives so cheese you can send her in for grading or you can put the grading toward the Cynthia Caitlin I think the Cynthia Caitlin is a $32 uh, $32 grade I could be wrong about that though if it's not it, I can just send the Caitlin in for free about 60 bucks for a PSA 10. Nice pull. Jeez, I shred them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to relax my back after this live stream. It's a four hours of straight sitting between these two channels, two uh, YouTube channels. We got 20 minutes left of the stream. Good job, jeez, man. Good deal. Jeez, I'll give you some time to think about what you'd like to do. Congratulations on your pulls. Place that here. I think this makes the Mallow the best pull tonight, right? Technically. So I'm going to start doing this. All right, it says cheese. Mallow be looking sexy. I agree, actually. She's all like, I'm going to make these berries for you. Why do you need a ladle for berries, though? Somebody explain this. She's clearly an alien. But that's okay. She's a sexy alien. She's come down here. She's going to abduct you. And she's going to put a probe up for booty. All right, there we go. The Dragonites. Let's get more SM base set with bulk. Let's get more sun and moon base set with bulk, he says. Oh, but you know what? Before we open these Mahasvar, let's go ahead and get a new lotto going. So, what do we have here? This is for the next lotto, hopefully, maybe? I bought these specifically for our lottos. The Dragonite was the first one we pulled. It was a really nice one. Yeah, this guy went all out on making sure these cards were nice and safe. Oh, good. I don't know if we could do the lotto on this one. <laughs> uh, it's a cool piece of mail. I'll have to show it off in my video. This is... <laughs> I mean, we could actually. We technically could. So this is a PSA 1 Charizard. <laughs> Stratosphere says, do it! <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what I paid for him. I, I, I'd have to look it up, guys. I don't think he was that expensive. I'm going to just check. <laughs> yeah so people it's funny people actually collect psa1 base set charizards because he is that popular can you believe that he is so popular people do not give a frick what his grade is they just always collect <laughs> oh i couldn't do him he's too expensive actually I mean, we could do them if the energy card pile was larger than usual. So that's the only case we could uh, send that card out. What do you guys want? So I could do Charizard by himself, and there would be more energy cards than usual. It wouldn't be too much more. It wouldn't be like... It wouldn't be crazy. But it would be... There wouldn't be any packs. There wouldn't be a free grading. And there would be just a few more extra energies. Do what you want to do. Is the 1 as rare as a 10? <laughs> no. No, not at all. So the 1 does not go as much as a 10. However, people do collect 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, every single grade of him they collect. Is there? <laughs> I'm, I'm reading Death Pile's comment. Here, let me let me just see this. Let me see how much it would cost to replace him, at least. All right, one moment. Uno momento. Is there one for sale? I don't even think there's one for sale on eBay. Damn it. See, that one was for me. I was I was supposed to collect that one. Give me 
single moment. Ah, he's he's probably supposed to be for me. Let's set him aside. Set him aside. Ah, oh, come on. I'll do it. I'll do it. We're, ju we're just going to have the Charizard. Just the Charizard. I'm not too worried about it, guys. Who cares? Who cares? It's for fun. It's for fun. Okay. Expensive fun. This is for the PSA 1 base set Charizard. A card that, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what grade he's in, people will collect this goddamn card. And people put collections of Charizards together, and that includes having a, 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 a PSA 1 in it. Can you believe that? Can we get a better look at all the imperfections? I mean, he's pretty imperfect. <laughs> uh, well, that's not on the case, is it? That's on the... Hold on, let me check the case, because it would be annoying if the case was actually scratched. No, the case is good. The case is good. It was actually the sleeve. The sleeve was old. It looked like there was a scratch on the case. All right, there we go. Lost that card in a flood in my garage. That's sad. All right, so this is a PSA 1 base set Charizard. He's probably very easy to sell. I'm almost confident he is. How many Cosmic Eclipse Packs would you do for the Dragonite? Uh, we can discuss that when we have more Cosmic Eclipse Packs. Currently, we are sold out of Cosmic. So, Cheese, we will have some in the coming days. In the meantime, we can, in the meantime, we can think about it, okay? Uh, you know, for the Dragonite, I would probably do... That's a tough question. Maybe half a box? I think I do have a box. Let me think. That's 18. I. What if you didn't pull a secret rare, though? You know what I mean? But, see, the problem is you're trading that. Well, yeah, I don't know. The thing is, you're hoping to trade it for maybe like a Rosa, which you probably won't pull, but you're also trading him... When you trade for packs, you're basically trading for an opportunity to potentially pull, like, the best card in that pack. But also, you might get the worst pull. So it's a, it's a luck-based trade. You're basically gambling with the Pokemon card as your currency. And I'm questioning how much would I accept the Dragonite for. And what I should be accepting him for is the okay, rate that I sell the cards at. My money in Lotto, please. Okay, okay, take my money. <laughs> That's DL. DL going deep. Good luck, DL. That's Weekend Wolf. Baby. Yep, that was supposed to be my Charizard, but I opened him up randomly, and you guys seemed excited for it, so let's just go for it. Who cares? He's only PSA 1, which means one day, if I really wanted him, I could just buy him again. I got to get my PSA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Charizard collection going, guys. Come on. You can't be a Pokemon card collector without one of those. All right. That's for DL. <laughs> we got 12 minutes left to the live stream, everyone. Just letting you know. Charizard base set. What a what a beautiful card, man. They just did it better back then. I don't know what to say. Modern cards don't have the same I don't know what to, the same beauty to them. It's hard to describe. It's not just a nostalgia thing. That Charizard legitimately looks good, you know? Compare it to a lot of the arts on the cards today and they just don't look as menacing or as much like a currency. It's hard to describe. Go away, Lily. Well, Quip wouldn't understand the Lily. I could show it to her and be like, this is an expensive card. And she would be like, oh. But she wouldn't understand. She, she doesn't know who Lily is. I, I don't think she does. Oh, she did play Sun and Moon. 
Tostas over here. That is JC getting one card in there. Wicked Wolf. Loud on me, baby. See you later, Jonathan Cham. You have a nice night. Thanks for joining us. Mary says, Quip wouldn't understand. <laughs> Quip's a casual. <laughs> she doesn't do this like us. All right, Wolf is going deep. Good luck, Wolf. See you later, Cheese. Tonight, I think I'm going to try and make a video about opening mail uh, for the cards I didn't open in the live stream. We're going to open up some mail. And then I think after that, I will work on a fresh video for my main channel. I've got a video in edit right now as we speak because my editor is working with me again and everything's looking good. Hitting all my daily goals, a lot of work. <laughs> you know how much work it is to just wake up and be like, I gotta make a video. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, I guess it must be something, it must be some, similar to being like a journalist almost. You know, you wake up and you just have to write an article about something. It's kind of like that. How's your posture during video recording? Uh, terrible. There's not a lot I can do about it either. The problem is, in order to get this done, my hands have to be forward. I can't like... Ah, there we are. So I'm leaning back. My shoulders are rested against the back of the chair, and it just feels better. But now I can't do anything. You guys certainly can't see me doing anything. So in order for you guys to see what I'm doing, I have to lean forward. And I've been doing that for three hours at a time, every day, and I think it's destroying me. <laughs> so we're going to limit the stream to two hours. I think that'll be very important. We might even start doing a 15 minute intermission at the one hour mark. If we do, we'll change the, the uh, stream time to two hours and 15 minutes. Do you need one of the fancy pillows? No, actually my chair is very good. I like this chair, it's a lumbar support, fancy office chair. It's just the case that I sit too much. There's nothing you can do about it. And I sit leaning forward for this stream, I really do. This is gonna be stratosphere here. Just get longer arms. Duh. <laughs> Man. Symphonia with the 1010 10 tips here. <laughs> I love it. Mary says, don't forget to open Mahasvara's. Oh, Mahasvara's got packs. Let's get some. Oh, they're right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can beat that Malo. Come on. Base set. It's not over yet. It's not over till it's over. Who's going to have the best pull by the end of tonight? That Malo looks pretty hot. And, and not, not in a sexual way. I mean, like, the card itself looks valuable. <laughs> I realized it could be interpreted the other way because there's a girl on the front. Pokemon, gotta be a creeper. Missed all my keys about it. What? What if you open packs with the camera facing you, big brain? Oh, what did I think about that? Messages, what? We have Crocorock, Aquanid, Araquanid, Experience Share, Eevee, Stuffle, Litten, Torkoal. I should like do all their names wrong. Oops, just pop that card off to the side. Next pack. Two, three, four. We have Grain Bull, Baldor, Switch, Fa Main Ties, Sur Skype, Grow Lithe, Cray Bray Lear, Mar E An Nai, Professor. I can't do it, it's too difficult. And another crocodile. What the hell? Yeah, that was difficult. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that the whole. Frick that. Mazavar says, I'm the best cold puller. Uh, you've had some tough luck the last week, I'd say. Yeah, your your last week was not the most generous week. But, you know, it was just a, two weeks ago that you were pulling really hot pulls. Oh, I saw this alone in Muck in Play. Power of Alchemy. Each basic Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities. Damn, that's cool. Last pack. 
Mazavara, you're the you're the last pack luck guy. That's how it's supposed to work for you. Let's see. Pokeball, Hypno. Base set. Smiling face. Base set. Oh, you might have ordered that base set a little late there, Tony the Sniper. You might have ordered a little late. No, <laughs> you got Taurus. You got Young Goose and Taurus. Nice. You know, it looks actually very clean. So this is still a, a decent pull, Mahasvar. Let's see. It is not... Uh, what, what, what did we get from that set? Umbreon? It's not Umbreon, but that is actually a pretty cool looking card. I like it. The back of the card? Oh, looking very clean. Could be a 10. Did you say with bulk? I don't remember. With bulk. Very good. Woo! I think that's the best pull. Is Malo better than Taurus? I don't actually know. You know, we're near the end of the live stream. Let's say they tied. <laughs> Very good, Mahasvara. Last pack luck, Mahasvara. I'll go open up another box of base set. Okay, Tony? Okay, Tony? Do we have another box? Oh, we have another box right there. Sweet. Easy. Easy as a frick. Fresh box. Let me lean back while I'm opening it too, though. I shouldn't have to lean forward for everything, right? Okay. I think it's more fun, though, when you can see. No love fro Brock. That's right, Brock sucks. Dude, he's got a wiener. I'm not into wieners. Okay, let's get Tony's pulls. Can you take from the back? Uh, I took from the front. Does it matter? It shouldn't matter. We don't actually know if we took... We don't know if the PSA... We'll do it for you. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> now watch this. <laughs> he pulled from the back, so now it matters if there's a, if there's a good pull in here or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since he's like, pull from this specific... I can't pull from the back. Base set, we knew the order of the set. I'm going to say these are yours, and these are going back in and getting shuffled. We knew the location of the packs with the set. They're mapped out, right? We are not pulling from the back. I forgot about that. Are you trying to pull a fast one on me, Tony? I think Tony's pulling a fast one on me. I forgot about that. Somebody warned me that the Sun and Moon set is mapped. The base set. Not, not all the sets, just the base set. Tony says, I would never. <laughs> yeah, so I was told that the... Uh, I was told that the Sun and Moon base set is mapped. And I guess what that means is you should be able to know where the good pulls are in the box. And I have never looked up the mapping because it doesn't matter to me what you guys get. I just pull from the box. Uh, but... If somebody's telling me to pull from a specific place in the box, it's time to shuffle. We're going to get that good shuffle going, boy. Boy! Trying to trick me? Trying to get a smart one on me? I don't think so. I think they did fix it. Somebody told me that they were mapped, and then later on, they were fixed. That's what I was told. All right, let's see what we get. It goes GX, two crap packs, hollow, two crap packs, GX. On the second print run. Oh, here we go. Here's an ant. You want to see an ant on my wall? There he is. <laughs> God, those guys are so annoying. All right, Tony, you might get a good pull anyways. This is a fresh box. So, Carvana, Pillapec, Pickapec, Sandile, Snubble, Firo, Wishiwashi, and Hariyama. Need some of your Monster Hunter Guide videos. Love your vibe and funny jokes. How's it going, Noah? Thank you so much for that. Allo and Persian, Brie Olin, Rare Candy, Sandy Gast, Morlul, Fomantis, Surskit, Growlithe, Bruxish, and Parasect. <laughs> smush it. Want me to smush it? Three, four. He might not have known. He might have just been asking for me to pull from the back. <laughs> Snubble, Wingle, Crabrawler, and Beware. Three, four. Tony kind of, he coming in for that snipe in the first place, man. 
he's like, hmm, I think this is going to be a snipe. Because you were pulling at the end of Mahas Vera's pulls. Hey, you got Incineroar GX. That's not bad. Coming in with that snipe, man. <laughs> Why do you want to kill my ants, bro? I only got two. I don't want them to die. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pinsir, How, Pissimian, Grubbin, Drowsy, Crabrawler, Sandile, Meowth, Pokemon, Catcher, and Primarina. I mean, you know, I get the desire to snipe. I guess it's kind of like a like a hunt almost, right? I'd, be, I'd probably be doing it myself. So let's see. Tony G. Pull those, pull those cards from the back, will you? <laughs> Symphonia says sniping Tony's good boys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's see if uh, Symphonia can get a snipe here. <laughs> Symphonia, the original sniper, this shiny Charizard sniper. Let's see what we get. Oops, let's get, <laughs> it was getting a little close, but we did not touch a card. No problem. We are at the two-hour mark. If you had any other cards you wanted to buy, buy them now or forever hold your peace. This is uh, officially your... When I don't have cards to open, the card stream ends. So we got Big Malasada, Steny, Poliswirl, Snubble, Carnival, Zubat, Poplio, Togemaru, Cloyster, and Beware. Pack number two. Dude, you got the viral? That's right, I got the viral. No, I do not have the virus. What? Who is he talking to? He's not talking to me, is he? He's talking to somebody else. Oh, I'm sorry, the camera's pointing... Sorry about that. <laughs> Camera's pointing off to the side. Spinda and Decidueye. What do we got here? Sniping the snipes. Time for me to snipe the snipers. Time for me to snipe the snipers. Who's that? Mahasvara? Mahasvara coming in for the snipe. Uh, we better get some more base set boxes going in this case because we got three people pulling from one box. Shelter, Lantern. Set, snipe, snipe. Oh my god. Poison Barb, Spiro, Dratini, Cutie Fly, Chinchow, Morlul, How. Ooh, those were really cold, Symphonia. I'm sorry, man. That didn't even have a GX in it. That box is hot. It's hot. It's hot, I tell you. But you know what? Uh, let me go get some more base set. Hot box. Just like my girlfriends. I'll be right back. Oh, Symphonia gets a pity pull. You're right. I'm so sorry, guys. Continue to remind me, because this is not something we've been doing recently. Oh, right. They're over here now. All right. Let's see what you get. Symphonia, you picked up the Victini. Throw this over here. You're rich in Victinis. Pity pull. Ooh, baby. Ooh, mama. There we go. Oh no. Oh no, bro. Now, I will not be shuffling these, but what I'll be doing, I won't be pulling them like, I won't be pulling them like that. I'll be pulling them like this. See, I'll be pulling them like this out of the box, okay? So there is no order. You will not be able to predict if you're gonna get a hot pull to keep things fair for everyone. God, this plastic is driving me nuts right now. Super Snipes. We haven't seen Power Nap in a while. You guys remember Power Nap? Power Nap kept getting good pulls, and then that, that was when we realized Power Nap Snipes. Power Nap only buys the cards when they're favorable. And I was like, what? And that was when I started to change how we did this. I started hiding boxes. See, I used to have them right here, and I would do this. 
How stupid of me, man. Because <laughs> then you could see if the box looked like... If the box looked like this and no secret rare had been pulled, you would just buy the rest of the packs. I was so stupid back then. So Power Nap, he was like getting all these hot pulls. I'm like, man, how are you doing this? Power Nap, you're so lucky. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Not anymore. They're hidden now. They're hidden like the hidden face. So he took care of Symphonia. Then we have Mahasvara. Time for me to snipe the snipers. All right, maybe you will. One moment. That pile says just mix them all up. No, because, it, well, that might work a little bit. That might work a little bit. But the thing is, when you can actually literally count how many packs are left, that just makes it too easy for you to know, you know, when to buy and when to let someone else mind sweep for you. Which we don't we don't allow that. That's just not gonna happen on this channel. Not gonna happen. Is the toilet paper card packs trade still going on? That's right, Jay Noah. I am accepting rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> No says, am I too late? So this is for Mahasvara. He paid for bulk. Sniping the sniper who sniped the sniper who tried to snipe me. <laughs> Sounds good. We've got Corsola, Dragonair, Stuffle, Poplio, Zoo, Bat Shelter, Young Goose, Persian, and Cosmoam. Take a look at this Persian. Ah, it's off center. You know, if he was a really nice looking alone Persian, I was going to ask for it. For my wife, she likes Persian. Because she's a weirdo. Can you imagine liking Persian? Have you seen the way Persian looks? Looks like a retard baby. No, I'm just kidding. Call him a dumb baby. Growlithe, Vicavolt, and Vicavolt. You are rich in Vicavolts. Looks like the baby from Ice Age. That's all I'm going to say. So a lone Persian might have been dropped on his head a few times. That's all I'm going to say. The lone Persian might be missing a few chromosomes. That's all I'm saying. That's literally all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Scar Marie, Polly Swag, Sandy Gast, Evie, Cabrawler, Palisand. I tell her, oh, I like Charizard. And she goes, I like a lone Persian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Cold pulls, my husband. Ah, oh, the pulls are indeed cold as ice. The cold as ice. And you get Stonjourner. Woohoo! It's Stonjourner time. Stonjourner time. Stonjourner. Stonjourner. Come on down. You've got the Stonjourner today. Mahasvara. Weird snipes. Mary. I snapped it. Come on, guys, you gotta beat Jesus Malo. Look how sexy she looks. She's got her little apron. After Mahas Varo, DL says base set snipey snipey. Let's do it. Pack number one, pack number two, pack. Remember, guys, when there are no more cards purchased, the stream officially is over. We've reached the two hour point. It is time for me to go lay around. And scratch my nutsack. Boop. Two, three, four. We have Repel, Pelipper, Pokeball, Grubbin, Drowsy, Crabrawler, Sandile, Meowth, Rowlet, and Cloyster. You know what Cloyster looks like. I know what Cloyster looks like. We all know what Cloyster looks like. Crock Rock, Fomantis, Grimer, Togedemaru, Stuff, Stuffle, Mariani, Alone and Grimer. I love Grimer. And Masquerade. Time to hunt gold crowns in Monster Hunter World. Ah, uh, Monster Hunter. Hey, you picked up that nice looking secret rare Taurus, man. I like that card. Can you fly? You know, I had never seen it before. That's the first time pulling it on this channel. You pulled the Young Goose and the Taurus. Very cool. Three, four. What are the change, chance to get an ultra rare in a boosted pack? You got like a 1 in 36 chances, roughly. Speaking of which, here's a full art. Full art Lima. What? You got so much Lima. 
Full Art Lima has revealed itself. Do you want me to add any specific emojis to the Pokemans? Um, hmm, great question. Wingle, Snubble, Carvana, Zubat, Torkoal. Oh, you just got two in a row. You just got two full arts in a row, DL. You did snipe. That's a proper snipe, guys. It's looking pretty clean. Damn. That would match the Espeon you sent off from Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Looks a little off-center on the front. I don't know if they count this, though. I don't know how they judge the front of the card. Dude. Two? I can understand one. Two? Must have been because we were mixing the cards up or something. Maybe that's just how it is in this set. They're like, give them both. Give them a big dry spell, and then give them two full arts all at the same time. That's a good idea. After DL, we have Tony G sniping the sniper who sniped the sniper who sniped who tried to snipe me. <laughs> this is when you start singing some James Bond music. The sniper who sniped me. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Oh, he's got it. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. None of us are that cool, let's be honest. We're all opening up Pokemon cards. Give me a break. <laughs> I'll take that chicken, not stern. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Speaking of, by the way, I need to get these on the table already. Where the, where the heck did my energy pack card? Mr. Bond. <laughs> Wait a second. Was this my previous one? Oh, this was the previous card holder. I see what happened there. Mr. Anderson. Now we don't watch we don't watch the Matrix. The Matrix. Dude, the, when you go back and you watch the Matrix, it is so cringy. I can't believe when I was younger I thought that was cool. I can't believe when I was younger I thought that was cool. That was cringy as hell, dude. I watch I rewatched parts of the Matrix today, and not only are the ideas totally lame. Oh, we could be living in a computer simulation and we're just batteries for the computers. Not only is that the dumbest plot ever, but the whole like sci-fi gumshoes. <laughs> All the like slow-mo and the changing of the cameras and the special combat that's totally unnecessary. Dude, it's dumb as hell. And all that combat has nothing to do with computer science. The old, oh, the bad guy computers are like spiders. Like, no, they would never choose to do that. The bad guy computers, they're octopi, octopusy, right? They would never choose to be that way. Th that is not how a computer acts at all. They don't happen to be in the shape of the things that humans fear, right? <laughs> computers would be 100% about efficiency. Oh, I'm going to be an octopus that floats somehow. My booty! DL says that was revolutionary at the time. It was, actually, and it kind of shows you how far we've come. I think the internet has changed everything. You know, you hear a plot like that, and you're like, boring, next. Because you've heard so many plots and everything, and so easy to learn and to experience things on YouTube now. It's a cheap experience. And it must be really tough to make a very cool movie now. Who was that for? That was for DL, right? No, DL got the double full art. Tony sniped the sniper, sniping the sniper who sniped the sniper who tried to snipe me. Tony, you did it. You got your gumshoes GX. It was what you always wanted. Where did we put Tony? Oh, here it is. Tony, you got everything you always wanted with the gumshoes. <laughs> All right. Mr. Anderson, we did not like your opinion about the Matrix. We're coming for you. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. <laughs> All right. That sounds like a wrap, guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Can I please see Lily? Yes. Let's show Lily at the end uh, to Mary, who probably wants to see the card again. Here you go, Mary. One Lily card. Sweet. Sweet. Have a nice night, everyone. Super sweet.